Time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Neat. Hello, Paul. Hello there. So let's first start with fencing. Korea's women team earned a medal at the World Championships. Yes, that's right. They won bronze uh, at the World Championships in Italy on Sunday. Korea's team of Yoon Ji Su, John Hae Young, John Eun Hae, and Che Se Bin finished behind Hungary and France on the podium. They beat Turkey 45 21 in the round of 16, and then Azerbaijan 45 43 in the quarterfinals before losing 39 45 to Hungary in the semis. The competition was cancelled in 2020 and 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And so this is Korea's first medal since 2019 when they also won bronze. And moving on to football, it looks like South Korea's women's team needs more than a miracle in order to advance the knockout stages of the World Cup. Yes, I'm afraid so. Korea lost 1-0 to Morocco on Sunday to make it two straight defeats to start this World Cup. In Adelaide, Australia, on Sunday, a glancing header from Morocco striker Ibtissam Jraidi on six minutes was enough to earn her country the three points. This now means that Korea need to beat Germany by a margin of more than six goals to reach the knockouts. Korea, of course, are yet to score in the World Cup so far, having played against teams ranked below Germany, who are one of the tournament favourites. Manager Colin Bell blamed the defeat on the domestic WK League's lack of intensity and lack of a promotion relegation system, adding it's time to rethink the whole league format. Korea faced Germany on Thursday at 7 p.m. Korea time in what will be their final group stage match. And meanwhile here in Seoul, um, two European giants took part in an exhibition game on Sunday. Yes, that's right. It was uh, Manchester City and Atletico Madrid. Uh, and they were here and they experienced the career summer monsoon as well. They did so firsthand. The pre-season friendly match ended 2-1 to Atletico thanks to goals from Memphis Depay and Yannick Carrasco. Ruben Diaz scored for City. But the game was delayed for over 40 minutes due to torrential downpours waterlogging the pitch, making it unplayable. The match was part of the Kupang Play Series, which also saw a team of K-League All-Stars beat Atletico 3-2 on Thursday. And to the baseball now, bad news for San Diego Padres star Kim ha -sung. Yes, he's picked up a shoulder injury, unfortunately. This forced him off the field on Sunday against the Texas Rangers. The injury was sustained while sliding at home plate. Kim slid in head first, but his right hand got stuck underneath the left knee of Rangers catcher Sam Huff. He is, according to Yonhap News, considered day-to-day -day in terms of his injury status. The Padres did at least win the game 5-3. But one Korean star in MLB that's due to return from injury is Ryu Hyun Jin. Toronto Blue Jays manager John Schneider has been quoted as saying he's ready to roll, push the go button and don't look back. Ryu's long-awaited return will be on Tuesday, August the 1st, against the Baltimore Orioles at home. Ryu has missed over a year of Major League Baseball after suffering an elbow injury in June 2022. And Paul, finally to swimming now. Um, Cassell Korea's men's team was able to set a new record, national record, in the 400-meter medley. Yes, you're right, uh, by a narrow margin, but it does count, of course. Uh, on Sunday in Fukuoka, Japan, South Korea's team of backstroke, Lee Juho, breaststroke, Che dong Yol, butterfly, Kim young Bom, and freestyle, Hwang Sonu, set a time of 3 minutes 34.25 seconds. The time is 0.71 seconds quicker than the previous record set earlier this year. The team finished 10th out of 22 and was unable to advance to the finals, but was able to move up to 8th in the world rankings. They had been 13th at the Budapest Games last year. All right, thanks for that. See you next week. Thank you. See you.